Hi, so welcome to our next live video. My name is Alp from the company Möbel in Berlin. So we uh, we have prepared today, as of this evening, um, different uh, motif and different painting for all of you. As you know, now we are um, the, as a European distributor of the company Daydream Apothecary Paints, uh, and we will use our, of course. Uh, our beautiful production uh, on products and paints. Um, I can then say that it's the main products which we uh, use today as uh, from the Daydream Apothecary Lemon Shark. Blushing Coral. So Lemon Shark is from the um, coastal line. Uh, blushing Coral is <coughs> for Botanical. Our major tone this is in black. Black color. Ground Control. It's our white color, and we will use for a small uh, part, so small painting, so the red, it's really red, so color. So and um, what we are, we do today is you see that, and I am standing in front of uh, a wall. So uh, yeah, this is our <laughs> room. So we have prepared today, and we want to then paint the motif. It's is in. Um, yeah, dancing cranes. As you see here, we have painted or pre-painted for you. And what we will do, um, I don't know if you see, but we have a circle, big circle here, so behind me, it's, it will be a sun. And this sun, and we will make with, with gold leaves. So in rose gold, the color rose gold. And we have two cranes, so, um, maybe there are a couple, I don't know, but as you see now we have so painted uh, this crane, uh, this beautiful crane with our uh, beautiful paints. And the second one, of course, um, as to make it on in, in, in life, so we have um, first of uh, yeah, uh, we have drawn uh, this crane and uh, prepared. I want to then <coughs> show you that's I think, so I can then maybe then show, yeah. That's the original, uh, I think, um, dancing crane uh, picture. So we have inspired it from this one. As you see, there's only two cranes there, and we have also have two cranes, but with the sun. And they are dancing under the sun, under the sunlight. So uh, now uh, my partner, so she's behind the camera, and she's very excited I need to start the paint. She will. Um, first, so, so she will paint the, ro uh, so <laughs> the sun with the rose, uh, rose gold, uh, gold leaves and then she will explain how it works and how it will be painted and the uh, near of her then I will uh, start to paint our second crane. So and then we are very excited. Now we will see how, it, how <laughs> this journey will be ended. So uh, Tina, please. I invite you to the, in front of the camera. I will go first for a few minutes so behind the camera and I will come and I will paint it. So welcome <laughs> to stage, learn to you. So, uh, like I've already said, we, we did draw the outlines of the cranes on the wall and then uh, we filled the, the white parts with white and the black parts with black. And now we're going to do the details, the sun, um, uh, we just, um, you just need to take like, you make a little hole in the middle and then you take a, what is it, a strip? Um, so strip, so I think so it's, it has to be a strip. So no, you I'm take a, a pen and a strip and then you just go around and you have a perfect circle uh, and the circle will be uh, gold leaf uh, in rose gold. Um, you can also do it in gold. Uh, gold leaf comes in a lot of colors. So um, we have, for example, here silver. It comes in gold, and but today we're gonna use rose gold. So this looks like this. So, and we're going to start with that because that needs some time to dry before we can take it off. Uh, Tina, only you can then of course uh, talk about it. So we have to change the group because we are as a small technical problem. Okay. We are not in the group. 
Um, you can maybe then zone for Instagram, so you can go and... Okay, uh, I'm just going to keep on uh, going. Um, so, um, for, for the gold leaf, you can get like this uh, gold leaf adhesive. Um, we just got it off Amazon. Um, and then you just kind of uh, put it on the wall wherever you want to have the gold leaf. You have to be careful because it's really thin. Uh, and if it goes below your line, uh, you won't have a circle. So really careful. Just go in with the adhesive and put it wherever you want to have the gold leaf. Um, if you don't have full coverage, you can do a second round. Um, sometimes it looks nice if it is not full coverage. So that's that's depending on how you like it. So Just stay at the line, don't go too in too fast because everywhere where you have the adhesive you will have gold leaf later. So, and of course, you know, for this big area you can take a bigger brush if you want to. Um, but I'm just going to show you uh, how you can do it on a small area and then we're going to move on to the details. Is it working now? Yes, okay. This is now okay. in Portugal. Okay. So. Hi, Portugal. Hola. <laughs> and this is kind of nice because you kind of see where you already put it um, because it's going to get a little bit uh, lighter. And if you put it on, you just gonna wait like some minutes and then you can put the gold leaf on. So I'm gonna stop right here. I think that's enough for you to show how it works. Just make sure everything is covered with the adhesive so you won't have any spots where you don't have gold leaf okay So, and this is going to get really thick and then uh, you can stick the gold leaf on. So, I'm just going to show you what Alp is doing at the moment. One minute. So, he's just doing the body of the crane. Uh, with ground control in white and uh, we don't want full coverage because you know if you if you look at the bird uh, he's not pure white so um, he just puts it on like in the way the feathers would go and then later we will come back with uh, blushing coral, lemon shark, major tom and do the details okay now we're gonna go back to our gold leaf I'm just gonna fix this part right here okay. and so they come like in packs and then you always have like a, a normal sheet and then you have a sheet of gold leaf 
and you just take it with the sheet and then you can just uh, put it on here. And this is kind of messy. You should get a, uh, if you, you do that, you should have a vacuum cleaner because this is really, really light and it's like flying everywhere. So let's get the next one. And you have to be really careful if you touch it with your hands, uh, it's gonna look like this, which is not good. We actually don't want that. So. Okay, it's better to do it with both hands. And then you just put it on. Sheet by sheet. And if, if I have some places which do not cover, I will come back later and just kind of uh, go back in there and do that again. And it's really sticky, so as you can see, I already have it all over my hands. Oh, you can get that off Amazon as well, the gold leaf. They have several colors, like I already said. Uh, you can even get like pink, metallic pink and so whatever you plan, like some kind of <laughs> multicolor effect. It's just really messy, so... So now I'm just gonna look where there are still places missing and I'm just gonna go in, cover them.
So now it's all covered, but we're gonna wait and let it sit and let it dry a little bit. And then we can come back and take it off. Uh, let's just take a look at what Alp is doing. He's already uh, doing the leg. And as you can see, it's not that hard. Just just put the outline on and then have your reference picture and then um, Okay, now back to the gold leaf. So Okay, I think we covered it all now. Okay. There's still like a place here where it's not fully covered, so I'm just gonna go back in. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna get to the details of the crane. Okay. Already started. So I have. Major Tom, Lemon Shark, Blushing Coral, and Crown Control on here. And I'm kind of mixing them. So I'm not using uh, pure, pure uh, Blushing Coral. I always mix them a little bit with Major Tom because I, I want to have it kind of dirty. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go back in and do the tail. Uh, I just have to check if you can see the tail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm mixing some lemon shark with some mecha tom. And then I'm just going in with some white and I always try to have like a different shade. So do some lighter and do some um, darker. And you just keep on doing that. I will have now blushing coal with Major Tom and Ground control. And there's nothing really you can do wrong because uh, the only thing you have to be careful is that you always go like with your brush in the way the feathers would go. So, and then just always you know add some major tom or some other color to it so it's not just one color it's a lot of different shades of the colors so now here we have to be careful because this is still his body and this down here will be his um, leg already so <laughs> and 
and the more I go forward, the lighter it will be. So I will now, if I go forward, add more and more um, of the ground control. To the colors. And of course you do that step by step. You're not doing it like we do now that you put the gold leaf on and then you start painting. I would paint first and do the gold leaf at, at the end. Um, you can also do it the other way around, whatever you prefer, but uh, this would be the way I would do it. So I'm going to go back to the wings. So now I have to be careful because uh, oh, I I have to get lighter now. So I don't know what to say it's it's just really easy it's just kind of uh, do your brush soaks like the feathers would be and just always try to use like a different shade Okay, some more of the lemon shark. And I'm just using one brush for the whole painting. So you don't need a brush for every color. Just use one. Because they will be mixed anyways. So. And now we'll just go back in and kind of outline with ground control some of the feathers to kind of have highlights. So now I'm just going to get a different brush and this is just black at the moment. Um, let me check if you can see it. Yes, just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Let's, as I'm already back here, let's check how art is doing. Hey, you already can see it's gonna be a bird. I have to be like, you have to make a bird noise, like, ah! 
<laughs> okay, great. Let's go back to the details. Um, so um, I don't want to put any any of the um, flushing coral or lemon shark in it. I just will go in with some a mix of major tom and ground control. So just some gray just to have some highlights in here if you put them on always think like yeah to do it like like if the sun would shine on it and there are no rules for that so just have fun gonna let that dry now and later I will go back in with um, if it's dry we will go back in with a black again um, I'm just gonna finish the the wing so now we just really need a light color as you can see it's it's not really uh, white it's more like a I don't know, peach, peachy, whitey, whatever color. So I'm using a lot of ground control and a little of the uh, colors I used here and no major tone, just the colors because you want to get lighter. And your brush strokes, just always do them as uh, they the feathers would go for the for the bird. So it's really not difficult. Just gonna have a look at my reference picture. But yeah, that looks good. And now again, more of the ground control. And if we jib on the wall, like I did here, I'm just going to go back in with the green later. That happens. So and I'm I'm just putting white on more and more white now. Okay, but I don't want to go too close to the gold leaf. Of course, you can uh, if 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 that is too colorful. So we, we kind of like it colorful. Maybe I show you the wallpaper we have on the other side. So, <laughs> so this is the wallpaper we have on, on the wall um, on the other side. And this is why we choose uh, those colors. Of course you can go and use other colors if you want to. I have to uh, switch my brush because I put it in a black. So I'm just 
going to get a new one. I need some water. So if you're painting and you have it on a palette like this, you can always put some water on and then they won't dry out. So, almost done. I think I have to get some more ground control. Yeah, I have to get some more ground control. Can you hear my using ground control here, Oma? Yeah, that's good. Okay, session. Okay. Okay. So um, now we're going to go to the details of the lake. Um, I would just put some black in the legs. Like this. But not more. I forgot to, this is all a part of the plane of his feathers, so I'm just going to go in yellow right here. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's it. So it's really easy. We're going to let that dry now. And then I will go back in with, with some black and some white to put uh, in some more highlights. We will go to the head of the crane now. But before we do that, we will check how Alf is doing. Let's see. Yay! Good job! So let's measure and hope that now I am painting with ground control. It's this white color. And but if we make more details uh, later, so as uh, Tina has already done, so then uh, we will get more colors. As you see, all Daydream Apothecary colors. Um, yeah. And it's, of course, for the first time, so we have, so I am now um, taking care of that the feathers um, seem so like original. So it's not so just smooth, so like our hair. So then, um, if you want, you can then continue to do as of this part, then I will go first behind the cameras. He just doesn't want to talk. <laughs> hmm? He just doesn't want to talk. But I think we can go to the gold leaf now. And make a mess. Yay! So, we have this is dried now, and now we have to take off the excess. And for that, I always take a really, really uh, smooth um, brush, a thick, smooth brush. This is the Helen from the Adrian Apple to Carry. Um, I'll just make a noise. So, oh, <laughs> okay, so. 
And now you just kind of go in and brush all the excess away. And this is like a... It's raining coldly. And I, I'm just, usually if I do that, uh, we do that a lot on furniture, I would have a, a vacuum cleaner with me and use it right away. I'm not going to do that now because it's just really noisy and you wouldn't understand what we are telling you. So, um, but this is the best way to do it. But as you can see, it's really, really small pieces and they're flying like everywhere. So if you don't want to make a huge mess, just take your vacuum cleaner and have, have someone else uh, vacuum the pieces. And this now sticks because we had some paint here. If you have like a, a part where where it sticks like here, you can just go over it with paint later again. So, and as you can see, the coverage is pretty good. Um, you kind of can see um, where you put the gold leaf. If you don't want that, you can just go back and do a second layer. But I, I don't. I really like that, so I, I wouldn't do that. So let's just get rid of all of it. So, and here again we have some wet paint. This is why I said you shouldn't do it at the same time. So I would uh, do the cranes and then if I'm finished with the cranes, I would do the gold leaf at the end. Yeah, and we're going to do that for the whole circle. So we will have a big, big sun gonna do some work but yeah it's gonna be worth it and it's really nice it's really slick it's really shiny and it's an eye catcher for your room oh and we are actually in our bedroom so if, in case you wonder where we are um, yeah so let's go back to the head of the crane um, so they always have like this yellow, uh, no, red thing on their head. So I just have some, some red here. Uh, uh, I'm going to paint that red. some water Are there any questions so far? Not yet. <laughs> no questions? Okay. Good. Um, now we will come to the... Is this ein Schnabel? To the mouth of the bird. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm just going to keep my, my wet and
I just have to look at the picture. Oh, in the picture it's black, but I don't want it black. So. And you don't really have to do it exactly like they are in real. Big, okay. big, it's very nice. Big, schnabel. Okay. Bound lip, so big, big. <coughs> Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> it's it's a wall. I think it's approximately 24, uh, 22, 23 uh, square meter big or in the size. So it's just like 6 meter, so 330, 340 or six, 650, I think. Yeah, so meter, yeah so. we live in a really, really old building. Um, so, but you can do it smaller, you know, you don't have to go that big. So if, if, if you have a smaller wall, you can also do it. You just have to scale it down a little bit. So, yeah. So now I'm just going to go in with some major tongue. And you can uh, find all these colors from Daydream Apothecary in our online shop, you know, uh, www.moebel in Berlin.de. Yeah. And if you have any questions or Just any ask support us. you ask, or you can send us a mail, then um, we can answer as soon as possible. So, what I always like to do, because I don't want to have smooth. Edges, I just use my finger and make it a little bit blending it in. Yeah, so we're gonna let that dry now. Um, just get a different brush and we do the eye. So just some here. Hi. Huh? Uh, just a minute. Look at that. Uh, yes, in the middle. In the in the middle. Yeah, that's 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 the point. <laughs> it's a lovely affair. I don't know if they are a couple. They're a couple, but. <laughs> So one of them is landing, the other one, yeah, I don't know. Say hi! Have to say something. Okay, and yeah, you can just keep on doing those details, um, however you feel like. Let me just see if this is, this is dry a little bit, so... Um, can you all uh, hear clearly or well? Or is it far? Uh, I can also then put the camera uh, to the near of the wall. So maybe then. So I have a, a artist brush now. Can you send? Uh, can you show us again? No, this is here. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna go in and. If you like, don't like something, just uh, go over it with your fingers. I'm going to use some water because then it's easier. And you don't need to do so much details, you can just kind of uh, just do black and white, whatever you want to. It's up to you. 
I have to check. We have a mural back there. Let's like, see what I can do. Um, so if I go up front now, I will make it a more gray because I don't want to go in with straight black here. So. What you can also do, if, if you like that, you can also use some gold leaf on the crane as well. I've seen that, it's really nice. But then I wouldn't do the sun because then it would be too big, too, too, too much. So, uh, yeah. So there's no rule, just just do them as as you feel like the feathers would go. And just try to get them lighter the more you go up front. I need water. It's not doing what I want it to do. Yeah, now it's better. So water is your best friend doing that. And the reactivation of daydream colors, also chalk paint with the water is especially very well, so also the next day you can activate the paint or your color on the next day with a, a little bit of water so that you can then um, continue to paint again. Okay, I don't want to do too much here because they're pretty white here and this is way too dark. But I think this is okay like it is. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do the outline. Maybe if you want, uh, throw it on the way, uh, so white, so then uh, just a whole measure. And we'll picture them a little bit different. So. Okay. Oh! Sorry, just checking if you still can see it all. Yeah, so. So I have this big, it's an acrylic uh, permanent maker and with this I'm 
just gonna do the outlines again. So you kind of have a separation between the gold leaf and uh, I will also do it right here just go around and have a little black line around the sun but of course I would do that after all of the gold leaves in the sun and if you have places where it's too too much you just can go back with the other color and uh, fix that but I just wanted to show you all the steps yeah so one one little more detail so So uh, I would go back in here with some more black, make it a little bit yeah, and then gold leaf all the black outlines and that's it so we showed you every step <laughs> um yeah. we we will finish that in the next i don't know two days i hope and then we will send you a picture of how it looks finished um yeah so then i can then show you the other side which i have painted so then I will take the camera so a little bit back so then we can then see. Of course, I haven't finished yet, so that just just measure on raw painting and then um, we will of course then complete it with the sun with the gold leaves in rose gold. So we are using rose, rose gold, and then uh, this crane will be also then um, will be completed and painted like this one and. Yeah, as you see, that's a very big and large uh, place as on the wall. So we have this possibility, but you can use it. So just also the canvas or yeah, just also the furniture. You could, do it, on you could oh, do it like where it would be really would be really nice if you had like a china hutch and you put it on the back of the wall. Um, yeah. Um, we will finish that and show you the finished piece uh, uh, once we're ready. Um, it's really not that hard. And what you can do, uh, we now we used uh, four different colors. If you don't want to go too much color, you can um, just use black and white. I've seen it with uh, blues in it as well. So. Uh, you can have a white background, you can have gold instead of uh, rose gold. Um, so there are a lot of variations you can do with that. Um, you could also add like a cherry blossom tree on the side here if you want to. Um, yeah, so uh, this is just a little inspiration what you could do. It's, it's a really, really unique uh, piece of piece of art on your wall. I have to go here up, tells me. So, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yes, I mean. so it's really unique um, and uh, nobody else will have it. So it's really, really nice and it's not that hard to do. So um, 
just paint the outlines of the birds, do the white parts white, the black parts black, then come in with more colors. If you don't want to use more colors, just use grays and uh, yeah, do the details a little bit darker in the back, lighter in front and uh, later we will do the outline uh, of the whole bird once we've done the blood lead. And here again, if, if you don't like how you can see um, the squares, you can go back in and do a second layer, then you won't see it. But I actually like it, so I don't mind it. It's yeah, and also then the sun is not so that smooth, also nothing is smooth. Yeah. So then it will give some more effect. And if you use an indirect lights, so maybe then you can get so really a sun effect. So yeah, uh, yeah, you know now <laughs> where you can then buy or you can then all or find all the uh, paints they from Taylor the Mapo yeah. So they're really uh, nice to, to, to paint with. Yeah. And if you're afraid to do it on a big wall like this right from the start, just buy a little canvas and try it first. And then go bigger. Yeah. So I think that's it. So, <laughs> nice. so then have a nice evening, have a nice weekend. So and then Yeah, if you have questions, let us know. And uh yeah. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.